Hello everybody, Scott Taylor, the Data Whisperer, here in Orlando at the most magical place on Earth, the Gartner Data and Analytics Summit. Let's head over to the Zenzing booth to talk to Paco Nathan and his partner from Lincurious, Mathieu Bezozzi. Head of North America at Lincurious. Lincurious is a company that has been founded 12 years ago in France, and we have two offices, one in the U.S. and one in, in Europe. What we do is we have a tool called Lincurious Enterprise. It's a graph visualization and investigation software. It's used by investigators, business users to actually navigate, explore the graph, the data that is stored as a graph. Okay, so it's basically data sets with billions of entities connected all together. And what we bring is clarity for these users so they can find insights within those, those entities. The use cases are fraud detection, cybersecurity, supply chain risk analysis. So there are many different use cases and we work with the largest financial institutions, banks, insurance company, and governments of the world. I'm from Sensing. We build a SDK that's uh, very popular for entity resolution. So especially high-end entity resolution. So the idea is you want to be able to find the footprint across your different data sources for entities. Like here's Bob Smith Jr. We have three records. Now we can say, oh, okay, these three records are the same person. But then you get Bob Smith Sr. comes in and you have to say, no, that's actually a different person, even though they might live in the same house. So we get used in a, a wide variety of different kinds of application areas, but you, the majority of voter registration in the U.S. goes through Tenzing SDK. Also, a lot of like anti-fraud and counter-terrorism, counter-cyber threats, but then also cleaning up marketing data, customer 360, these kind of things. And about 60% of our end use cases are in air-gapped environments. So these are highly secure, mission-critical kinds of apps. That's so a lot of public sector, but a lot of enterprise too. I know you do have a session called How to Find Your Best Customers and the Worst Criminals. Yeah. That, I love that title. So tell us okay. about what you, what you talk about. I'm going to start out with the entity resolution side to show when you've got different data sets, how do you understand where the entities are and also what are the relations between the entities? And so then that is generating information that can go in to help build up a graph and then use Lincurious to do the, the link analysis, the use cases that we're talking about. Sensing is doing the cleaning of the data. What is really important when you try to understand the connections between entities is to make sure there is no duplication, okay? So if you have a Matt with one T and Matt with two Ts as two different persons in your data set, but actually it's one person that is just misspelled, then you have a big problem. Right. You cannot have the whole context around the entity. You don't have the 360 view and it can have an impact on you trying to figure out the customer journey or, I don't know, the connections between fraudsters or criminals. You help figure out, okay, who's who, and then you put the analytics on top of it to understand the deeper meaning. Exactly, yeah. So we know that, obviously, entity resolution and graph analysis equals business goodness. But how would you explain this to, let's say, a business user, somebody who's not technical, but wants to understand the value? Let's talk about fraud cases. Like a lot of people will come in and try to do something illegal, take advantage by hiding their identity. Usually they hide behind a network. They hide behind links, right? Because they'll come in, they'll set up one account. Then they'll set up another account with slightly different information on and on the data drifts. Eventually they're setting up an account. It's a completely fabricated identity. So how can you link those together and then do the analysis to say, no, this is one person and they're on a watch list and you need to take action. When you get to the best customer part, how do your systems work together for that? What we built on our system is a full integration of sensing. So what it means is that you have your data, you have your graph, but the mapping, what is what really matters in order to deduplicate the data is something that is an input coming from the business users. Mm -hmm. By using Linkurious with the sensing integration, um, uh, doing entity resolution is not something that is accessible only to hardcore data scientists. It becomes accessible to anyone. And also what we build together is an entity resolution process that is 
scalable, that is explainable, which is useful for business users, and that you can also reverse. As a customer, they want whoever is managing that data to understand the total relationship. Yeah, we, we see so much companies struggling to understand the customer journey. Oh, yeah. So basically, if you, I don't know, you, you go to, um, to CVS or Amazon or whatever, you might have three, four, five different accounts. You could have multiple identities within a bank without being a fraudster mm -hmm. because you own a company or a director of another one. Mm -hmm. You own multiple bank accounts. You have a 401k. What? A lot of time we see banks having duplication, duplicated entities, and so they have no idea how much you're worth, which is an issue because uh, they have no idea what is the product that they could sell to you. I, I, I know of cases in banking where they've gone to do their analysis and someone shows up red flag because of this yeah. that actually turns out to be a really good customer. Okay. Like maybe they're running, I don't know, a lot of Boy Scout organizations or something. Right. So they actually are a good customer, but in the wrong light, yeah. you might treat them differently. But when you drill down, you can find out this information. Critical relationship management. If I'm a business person, how do I really manage all my relationships at scale? Yeah. In, That's in a way point. that I can really depend on. Yeah, very basic, I think pretty foundational stuff when it comes to marketing. When you think about the types of use cases and the types of sectors that you work with, what are some of the, the industries that are really find this the most important? Fraud detection in the banking, mm -hmm. financing industry is the most active one. Supply chain risk management. It's a real struggle for companies with complex supply chain to figure out to map actually your network of suppliers and also to identify the ultimate beneficiary owners mm -hmm. of your suppliers, which is very critical. Mm -hmm. And another use case is all the projects around intelligence and law enforcement. There's a lot of fraud. There's a lot of public sector in terms of law enforcement or investigation. Also healthcare, like understanding sort of patient 360. So we're seeing more and more in the healthcare space. Hearing a lot from, say, insurance companies as well, even like in hospitality, that's another area. Sure. So you think of like recommended systems being the flip side of, of what you do with fraud, you do the opposite on a recommended uh -huh. system. The objective is still understand this relationship, yeah. who this thing is, who this person is, and how do I deal with them? It might be fraud. It might be they're my best customer. I want to upgrade right, them. Right. But either way, you right. still need to spend. Matthew, when you think about your relationship with sensing, what really drew you to, to build this partnership? Very clear to us that we wanted to have something that is scalable. Sensing is probably the only solution out there that is able to do entity resolution on massive data sets, mm -hmm. like with billions of entities. So that's very important. Scalability, speed, because what they do is they do it quickly, yeah. quicker than the rest of the market. Explainability is very important. We see a lot of people trying to do entity resolution out there, but what is really important is being able to explain why the solution identified two identities as potential duplicates, mm. very important. And, and also the fact that when you do entity resolution, you're not erasing your existing data. Mm. You can go back. Mm. And the last reason is the TCO. Really, we wanted to have a partner that could come with, that could provide visibility for our clients in terms of costs. Mm. For those reasons, we believe that Sensing is the right partner for us. Paco, AI is everywhere. People are clamoring to use it. How are you really staying ahead of the game at Sensing with AI? What, one of the, the basic facts of life of, of doing uh, AI applications is if you don't have your ducks in a row, if you don't have your data, set up properly first, you're not going to get very far. This is the foundational thing is you, I, I've seen a lot of large companies. We've had multiple conversations today with customers, large customers where, Hey, look, we, our executives would love to be doing AI applications. We, we don't even have a data catalog, right? We, we don't even know where our, our data products are. So you have to get that foundational parts in first and the entity resolution parts make sense out of all your disparate data sets. So let's get that in order first. That's probably your first priority anyway, right. when the executives really look at it. But then downstream, it does make sense that what you're able to do after you've, after you've run 
entity resolution, you can almost think of that as like a thesaurus. So my background is in AI and natural language for a while. And one of the things you want to do in a particular domain is understand the meanings of data elements that you'll have, like a thesaurus. When you run any resolution, you're building that. We talk about in graph technologies, there's something called entity linking. And we've shown how you can come from sensing to produce an entity linker. And then you go in and be working in a graph database. There are downstream applications that can take advantage of that domain-specific knowledge. Thanks for being here. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much.